Um, anytime an athlete of mine makes the NCAA, it's for them. Uh, it's uh, all the hard work, all the time and effort, um, pain, suffering. It, it, it means a lot to me that they buy in 100% so they can get rewarded, and these three did. They're getting rewarded. Uh, their team's behind them, backing them up. Um, they're driving up to Wisconsin to see them race. I mean, that's a 10-hour drive, and these kids are going up there just to see them race. Um, it it means a lot. It I definitely didn't think uh, Nationals was a really a possibility for me until I got on the line on Saturday. Um, I had all the support in the world from my teammates and coaches, and the one thing Tom told me, um, he sat me down uh, Friday night before the race and said, just believe in yourself and take a chance. And uh, I really didn't want that to be my last meet, so I told myself when the gun went off in the first few meters of the race that this is going to be my race, and uh, I was determined to just do whatever it took to make it to nationals, really. The excitement didn't really hit me until after I started walking around a little bit with my dad, and I got some water in me, and then I went over to see where Colin was because I knew that once I crossed that line, both of us were going to make nationals. And once I saw him, I just jumped. He jumped in my arms. I jumped in his arms, and it was incredible. Uh, when Tom had told us on the bus, um, I actually asked him like one minute before he announced it to everyone, and I said, "Do you think I made it?" He's like, "I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see." And then he announced that the team had placed 11th and that I made it. So he tricked me a little bit, but. <laughs> It was really exciting. Definitely at SUNYX, for the men's side, finishing second, that was a huge feat. And the women finishing fourth, it's a huge improvement. Um, we never really talk about NCAAs because, you know, you can't really train for the NCAA. It's a gift, and if you want it, you go get it. Saturday is just basically uh, do whatever it takes to become an All-American, which is uh, be in the top 35 uh, finisher. So Kyle and I are pretty much going to go out inside the top 20 for the first 3K of the race and hold on uh, for the rest of the race and see what we have left at the end. That's how Nationals is. He's going to get out fast and we're gonna, it's the toughest of the tough. Going into Nationals, I'll have to um, stay real up front um, with the top 15 to 20 girls and just hold on for as long as I can to try and be an All-American. It's going to be amazing. I love this team tremendously. They're like a second family to me. And the fact that they're coming up to watch me, Colin and Laura, run is, is incredible and shows what kind of a bond we have. I am really excited that they're all going to be there to support us. It's definitely going to help us out a lot. And I know that it's just such a great feeling having your teammates being able to support you. So I'm happy that um, men and women from both teams are going to be able to support us there. That'll have a huge impact on us, seeing our teammates there supporting us and knowing that they're going to be screaming their heads off to cheering for us. So the least we could do is uh, do our best in the race and uh, put on a show for them. But this year is definitely uh, the turning point to where I believe both these teams now believe that they can send multiple athletes up and, and uh, look down the road to trying to get a team at large bid.